to prepare the gantry for launching, the chain must be relocated onto the center ULRS. This is done using the CPU for launching. Once the chain fixity is in position, one CPU can be stopped and the other is located into the same position. The secondary jacks on the ULRS are then extended, locking the chain fixity to the ULRS. The safety clamps are tightened on the top. As a second safety measure, the secondary beam is then connected to the main ULRS jack pins using a connecting block. The operation of the jacks is controlled by the remote control which gives the operator easy access so this can be carried out by one man so this ULRS is now ready for launching the secondary jacks have been retracted so that when we retract the main ULRS jacks we do not damage the secondary jacks. The operation of the chain relocation must only be carried out on one ULRS at a time. At this stage you see The second ULRS is fully engaged and the main truss fixity pin is also engaged.
So on this ULRS, we have three methods of safety. We have the two pulling chains and the main truss fixity pin engaged. Once the adjacent ULRS has been completed and is locked off to the launching chains, the relocation of the launching rope and chain can take place on the second ULRS. Once the chains have been ro relocated, the main truss fixity beam is installed to add an extra measure of safety to the main truss fixity. The main truss fixity is bolted via 16 bolts that are located on the bottom cord of the gantry. The main pin then extends through the secondary jack beam. Once the first ULRS has, com has been completed, the second ULRS can also be completed. It is critical the it is critical that both ULRS are not released at the same time as this would cause the gantry to run away. Therefore only one operation can be completed on one ULRS at a time. To release the chain fixity from the secondary beam, the beam is jacked down, which then frees the chain fixity to the ULRS. Again, this is Again, this operation can, can be completed safely as the operator is the only man in charge of the jacks via a remote control. If the launching rope fixity jams, as it has in this stage, the launching rope can be adjusted using the CPU. This enables the rope to chain fixity to be removed. And you see now the rope being relocated so that they can get sufficient chain for the second step launching operation. Here we see the CPU for launching, relocating the chain for the chain fixity at the ULRS.
Again, the left chain here, when it becomes located to the correct position, the operator radios to the launching chain operator to stop. And he can locate it into the U-shape launching fixity. This CPU can be stopped and the second chain allowed to catch up. Once the second rope is in position, the secondary jacks extend a secondary beam to fix the ropes. The safety clamps are screwed down onto the top. The secondary beam is then extended. Then the couplers to the main ULRS jacks are installed. The secondary jacks are then released from the secondary beam. So that then the ULRS rollers and secondary beam are effectively one unit. So any movement required with the main ULRS jacks will also move the secondary beam and the launching rope. So we see the secondary jacks being retracted and the operator switches off his pump. So now the two ULRS have been set up ready for launching the second stage.